Been going for lots of walks. Yeah. Why is that? Ah, uh, trying to lose weight. Kieran always wants to go for walks. Do you get your heart rate up? Try to. Do you try break to. it? Break a sweat? Uh, Do you get on? You know what? It's big at the moment. The Peloton. Oh yeah, it's an exercise bike, isn't it? With a couple of TVs, and you can ride against people all around the world. No, oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, I'm, not, I'm just I'm just saying. I tell you though, I saw a new trend. A guy, I've seen him twice now, barefoot running. He runs in the park barefoot. On grass? Yeah, on grass, on bits of grass and dirt. But, but the, I couldn't imagine. Surely it'd just be like this. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> dog poo! Who's got a stick? <laughs> oh, that'd be me. Oh, Bindi. Oh. <laughs> I'd last about 10 metres. Oh, yeah, that's true. But having said that, isn't reflexology stimulating parts of the feet? Yeah. So, so, Acupuncture. So, yeah. um, therefore, if you stimulate your feet on grass or sand or something, it's got to be good for I mean, I can, I've seen people do well, it on the beach. The beach is fine, but just run around parks. There's like glass and... And, and have you ever stopped him and gone... No, he looks very determined. He looks unhappy... But determined. Who's the guy that? Who's the? What's her name? Katie Lang. Does she wear? Did she wear oh, shoes? Yeah, yeah. Be, uh, no, who's no the, shoe. Who's no shoe wearer. Kim, Kim uh, Mitchin. Jim. Mi- Tim Mitchin's no shoes. Yeah, isn't it funny? People that wear no shoes. Is it's Tim real... Mitchin no shoes? Yeah, he's no shoes. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what. I wonder what started that. He probably. He probably once he takes his shoe off. Because he wears his hair and a bit of makeup, doesn't he? Yeah, that's his character. Sort of dreads and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, when his shoes are off, he's connected. Maybe it connects him with the earth more. Well, maybe, but I mean, you go up to like uh, Byron Bay and that. You go, I remember Mullen Bimby. A lot of people no shoes in the main street. You know, yeah, the hippies yeah, yeah. no yeah. shoes. Yeah. There was one couple. The bloke no shoes. The woman socks. Yeah. Like, come on. I was in the supermarket the other day and someone came in, uh, and they had no shoes on, just bare feet. Yeah, but it, I think. Beach side. With, oh, no, look- this was in the suburbs. Oh, wow. So you're kind of going, oh, I guess it's fair enough. Well, I mean, you see it down the beach, don't you? People walk into shops and stuff with no shoes. Yeah, yeah. But I remember I talked to a guy who owned five McDonald's in Bendigo. <laughs> five. I think it was five. Anyway, and he... What would he do? Just go around from next... Go keep oh, on going it's around. a full-on job. Do you reckon he would have, like, for... Do you reckon he would say to his kids, what do you want for dinner? And the kids would go... <laughs> You're not having McDonald's. For fuck's sake, Dad! You've got five of them. Five of them. <laughs> he, the, the guys that own McDonald's, it's. I think it's pretty full on because you're managing a teenage workforce for a start, and you've got to go from McDonald's to McDonald's. He said he spent a lot of time in the car driving from the Mac, different Mac. But you just do. You just go through the drive through. You go through the drive through. Oh, yeah. How's it going in there? <laughs> oh, oh, the boss is coming through the drive through. I think there's a lot of kind of filling in and maintenance work and stuff they have to do. Yeah. I, I don't know. But anyway, he said. So he met his wife in England and they moved to Bendigo, right? Right. And she, he said she was a real Londoner. And I said, what was the biggest culture shock? And he said, she couldn't believe how many people wore no shoes in, uh, in Bendigo. In Bendigo, because Bendigo can be cold. Yeah, but why? Are you, yeah, that's right. Why are you wearing no shoes in Bendigo? It's a bit of a statement, though. You are making it an open. You are making. You a are. Statement. You are going. You are. It's a bit like when you wear pants that you can that fall down a little bit. You're making a statement yeah. that you're a, you're you're a member of a gang or in prison. Yeah. Isn't that what it was? Yeah, yeah. That's no, you right. had no belt on and your pants fell down. Yeah, because you don't you can't hang yourself in prison. That's right. I yeah. I went to the podiatrist, mm-hmm. um, and she said you have very soft skin on your feet. I've got like baby feet. My, it's interesting because you would walk on the beach. You would imagine that I, being the legendary sea. surfers who surfs sea. all around the world, yeah. um, would have hard feet because a friend of mine had really tough. Because your feet, you, they, they, uh, it's that real callousy feel about. But mine is just like baby soft. Oh, soft. Would you like to touch them? No, I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I know what you mean. It's like when you shake someone's hand who works in a job where they're yeah, that's with right. Their you hands. can feel the calluses, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, shake our hands. It's like baby, baby feet. But I must admit, I pride myself in being able to walk over the rocks, um, and then, but also doing it carrying a surfboard or doing that where you just I can do it with my hands in my pocket sometimes. Yeah, right. And you're going not a smart thing to do because you fall over, and it's easier to fall over with no shoes on. You know, yeah, I know, but yeah, I don't know. No, sh- I my kids walk around the house in bare feet, and we've got cats. There's like cat litter. There's dirt. I just like oh, but my nana used to wear no shoes in the house. What she, do you she, wear? She, what do you wear in the house? What's Birkenstock. Your... The Birkenstock. <laughs> yeah. See, what time of the? That's all day. Yeah, all day. Because I I will during the day, 
I'm just trying to think. Do you wear bare feet in the house? No. No. I'll wear a sock or I'll wear, I'll wear slippers, but I don't like putting the slippers on too early oh, in the yeah. day because it does give off a, a sloth. A relaxing yeah, kind of. Yeah, and if you, if you go into someone's house and they're wearing slippers, you're going, you're creepy. Yeah, what's happening? Uh, you're, just, you're just hanging around What about the day. Birkenstock with a sock? That's no, what I wear. No. And then sometimes I'll just drive We've up the shops. we discussion. Drive no. the shops with them on. Yeah, no. No. I'm, no, no but Birkenstock are quite fashionable at the moment. So you're, oh, yeah. you're on trend. Yeah. Um, but I reckon next time you're down the park, yeah, go to the op shop, right? Yeah. Go buy an old pair of runners and mm. go, mate, come over here. Yeah, I've got a present for you. Come on, put your foot up. Got some Nikes. Put your foot up. And you're going to try this. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're not going to feel any of that under your feet. You're going to have a great – and he'll love you for it. In fact, just wear one and then try – have one foot on, one foot off and yeah. just see what happens. Well, you just know. throw a pair of socks at him. Have a go at yeah. those. Yeah, have a go. Have a Some go sockets. Those. Yeah. Some of my Pilates socks. They had little grips on the bottom. But he he will have – he he would be a calloused guy. Oh, he's – yeah. He's obviously building up to something, I reckon. He's building up to some kind of Antarctica run or – well, should stop you and ask him. Who was it that invented barefoot bowling? Uh, Mick Malloy. Well, a friend of mine maintains he invented it. A friend oh, of, of mine, course. Dave, he, he invented no, it. Dave. Dave was a in, by the way. I yeah. met I met Dave outside an op shop once. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. waiting to. But he maintains he invented barefoot bowling. He just started talking to me. I talked to him about ten minutes, and he goes, "I, I know uh, Glenn Robbins. I know he's just been to some back specialist. He goes, I know Glenn Robbins." <laughs> And I go, what's your name? He goes, Dave. I go, are you a Dave the Rave? I remember seeing him do stand-up over 30 years ago. Well. He was a stand-up, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. And he used to do the buses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And he likes to listen to this podcast in the bath. Oh, wow. Hello. So, <laughs> adjust your dress accordingly. Um, is that bit related to that bit? I don't know. Here Somehow related. Dave's in the bath. Is oh, Dave- we need some music for that thought. <laughs> Somehow related now, please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. Here we are. we got two topics. you got to work out how they're related. It's pretty simple. It's a very um, good... I, I think... Uh, it's a, some have said TV show. We should do it as a TV show. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll bring the cameras here to the pub and film it. I don't know how you do it as a TV show. I really don't, because it all happens in the moment. We could film it here at the pub, and we'll get Sam Pang behind the bar like Trevor Marmalade on the footy show. Oh, that's a great idea. And he can make idea. those smart-ass comments. Yeah, yes. Oh, you reckon you blokes are interesting? You know, stuff he like would, that. And we, he'd have a title like he would be the the, the, the academic or the genius Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? And then we can rope in. Kitty Flanagan can, can be a delivery person. She can come in with, you know, oh, make this comments. Is great. <laughs> More like a sitcom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. we should get our topics. Yeah, maybe yeah. we should. Um, yeah. What are they, Sam? Cordial and gorillas. Gee, who would have thought? Yeah, this is a good one. Sam's done well because... Oh, I love a bit of cordial. You, you, are you a... Drinking cordial I reckon, right now. I reckon when she you were is. growing up, if you went around to someone's house after school, they were either cordial people or lemonade people. Oh, absolutely. And we were lemonade people. Yeah. I reckon we were cordial people. I don't think we had much lemonade in our house. We got the lemonade delivered. Oh, we've talked about this. Yeah, we yeah. love delivery. Yeah, you delivery. had Lloyd's. Was it Lloyd's? Uh, Crystal Drinks. Yeah. Lloyd's were big. Yeah. They had, they had different noddies in Geelong. They had different yeah, kind Mosley's. of... There were Shelley's. Yeah, Mosley, there was... Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, but we... What we, is cordial? It's just diluted syrup and flavouring, isn't it? Like a syrup. It's like a syrup. Because I remember I was around at Brian Evans's place, and I said, have you got any cordial? And he said, we've got some in the fridge. So I went stupidly... Went to the fridge, pulled the, the cordial bottle out, didn't realise it wasn't diluted, and poured a whole glass of cordial into the glass, and then drank a whole. Oh no! It's like, it was like mainlining heroin. It was yeah. just like it was like it blew my it blew my head what off. Flavor? What flavour? Orange. Orange. What, what are the flavours? Cooler, cooler, which is, is lime. It green. Yeah, that was a good one. Ooh. Uh, what else is the uh, lemon? Fifty fifty. Oh, 50. Oh, you're good. What was 50 50? I, what was 50 50? Was it lemon and orange? I always sort of balked at 50 50. Like, oh, it's 50. not the real deal. You know, 50, no, give, give me the whole lot. I like, I like lime cordial. Oh. I, I, yeah, I must admit, when we used to go to the Anglesey Cinema and it was in the middle of summer, 
no air conditioning in the local yeah. hall, and they would have cups of cordial for twenty cents. Oh God, I'm sounding like the start of my yeah. um, start of my book. Yeah, cups uh, of cordial. Uh, uh, and the, but they were cold. And yeah. when you had that glass, that cup of cold cordial, when you were dying in the cinema, because yeah. it was a double feature. Yeah, you'd see. Jaws, see, and, Jaws and Deliverance, yeah. for example. Deliverance. Good movie for the kids. <laughs> uh, I did see Deliverance there, yeah? uh, and it was R-rated. Geez, that's a good film. Still is a good oh, film. Ned Beatty. Gonna make you da- We're going to make you screw like a big boy. Burt Reynolds. Oh, God. And then when he gets shot. Oh, that's oh horrific. my God, it's no, no, horrific. No, 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 um, no. But that cold, because cordial for mine... Needs cold water. It's a summer drink. Oh, absolutely. So it's you need drink. it like at school kids would have it, and they'd have it in those plastic bottles. Yeah. And they kind of warmed up a bit. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Do you want to drink them a cordial? No, thanks. No. Raspberry cordial. Raspberry. Oh. It's, you know what? It's had a bit of a bad... Just when I bought... We, we're drinking lime and sodas, which is lime cordial. You've, I brought you across. Oh, I love lime. You, you were drinking Coke before this. Oh, I love Coke. But, but you're, you're off the Coke at the moment. Not really. <laughs> Hang on, we talking about the drink or the, the powder? Um, no, nah, yeah, no, I'm trying to drink less Diet Coke, but I'm, I'm not. Anyway, whatever. And Mel, the barmaid, said, you guys on the cordials, eh? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, again, cordial. And then she mentioned raspberry cordial. Remember raspberry cordial and the kids would go mad? The kids would go, kids yeah. went on the raspberry cordial. Yeah. But oh, surely all of them would have the, but raspberry was the raspberry notorious. Raspberry had a bad name, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Kids would go hyper. Raspberry cordial. Oh, they've had too many raspberry cordials. It became a saying. What, 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 what the, fr- were frozen drinks like Sunny yeah. Boy and Glug and. Um, what was the lime one? What was the lime one? Zap. Oh, well yeah. done. Yeah. Um, were they cordial frozen? Yeah, glug. Yeah, they weren't fizzy. They were just frozen. Yeah, cordial. so it was. So that's cordial. That, that's cordial. Got a fly hanging around you. Oh my God. Well, those little flies you get I around. Love, I love Sunny Boys. Love sunny them. Boys were great. Suck so you'd a suck them, and then until there was no cordial left, yes. and there'd be a white bit of ice. Yes. Then you'd eat the white bit of ice. Yes. That's right. Then you would finish. Oh, God. This get is a so free. Bad. Again, this Try is Try and get a book. free. Yeah. You get a free one. Oh, the best. How good did it feel oh, when you got a free oh, one? Oh, the best. Oh. Take it back to the kiosk. Um, so. Cordial, yeah, cordial. We went through a stage, before we had kids, we drank a lot of cordial. We used to drink lemon cordial all the time with ice and. And your sugar content was still pretty high. Oh, yeah. 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 We stopped because I think Kira might have gone to a dentist or something and they, and they said, are you drinking a lot of sugar or, you know? And oh, no, yeah. 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 They, yeah. They're oh, cordial, this is, this cordial is, detectives. So this is your current um, family, not your. No, this is, no, this is, yeah. When me and Kieran lived in that with our kids, yeah, yeah. But our house in Mitcham, with mum and dad, we were more lemonade. I got to say. We were more like soft drink. I don't think we had anything. You, did you have lemon cordial? Because lemon cordial was often the one that you go over to someone's house, they'd have brown bread and lemon cordial, and they watch the ABC. They were one of those families. Yeah, no. Just I, and they didn't have they didn't have lime cordial because the mums went, nah, lime's too far out. Just lemon for your kids. I remember Colin Siri came over one day and. We didn't have any lemonade or cordial. We had dry ginger. And he went, what? Dry ginger would have been for mum's mixed drinks, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. But but it's, would that it's, be a great, Scot- it's a great drink, but is it? it is not. Yeah. My Scotch, kids, what, what would you have with, with dry um, ginger? God, I had a dry ginger the other night in this pub and this woman said, was it here? Jim Bean. You have Jim Bean and dry ginger, apparently. There we Jeez. go. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a notorious drink, isn't it? Um, but um, what about that? Remember that drink? Remember Tang? Do you remember Tang? It was like orange powder. and Yeah, and uh, what would you do? Because Marty Shegold used to do a routine about yeah, it. Yeah, about Tang, yeah. And So hang on, what did it, you put into a glass of water? And it was just like a, it was like an orange powdered drink. I mean, there was, yeah, go and on. And what about, what about the one that used to fizz up and we used to drink that too? Eno? No. no. It was oh, cool. no, it was one that was, well, Eno was for your stomach when you felt, when you were bilious. Yeah, yeah. No, there was one that mum used to give us occasionally. Wham or Z. Z- oh, uh, I can't remember what it was called. And you can still get it. I looked it up the other day. It was like orangey, lemony flavour. And, and it, it made it was, sort of, your eyes water, didn't it? I think it was <laughs> meant if you were ill, but we used to drink it like it was like a, like a drink. Well, Eno, Eno was, was... No, that's not good. No, that's not... But, that's, it, but it worked. Like a Barocca. Yeah, Barocca, that's right. Oof. Um, so well, basically, they have taken fruit, moshed it up, yeah. thrown in some sugar, and... That's it. That's it. Cordial. And it's, a, and it's like a, not a puree, but a... Yeah, it's like a syrup. Like a pure. In America, they call it squash. Yeah. And it's quite, the consistency is 
much more than oh, thicker yeah. than, than than a normal yeah. normal drink. Yeah. Um, well, let's do gorillas. I think we've covered off cordial. Cordial's still great. Cordial was big when we were growing up, I reckon. But I still reckon it's kind of slightly popular. We, I'm sorry, I just remember we had cordial at home for a while there. We found this. Must have been. You can get cordial at the market. Oh yeah, I've got. Some, I bought some from some guy. It was great. That's a, at the markets now. They've got the. They've got the real. They got your yeah, boutique. For, yeah, boutique yeah. cordial. Um, it's good too. Uh, it's it's really good. The oh, lemon yeah. one is really good, and yeah. it's not cheap. No, but you you chuck it in with a bit of a bit of soda and oh, a bit beautiful. of vodka, and apparently Oof. blows you. All right, <laughs> love cordial. Anyway, just nod, giving a nod to the, the updated version. Yeah. What was? Hang on, hang on. Because you know on. what, we didn't have sports drinks when we were growing up. We so, didn't have Gatorade. Sports drinks aren't that great for you anyway. Nah. They're full of whatever it's salt. made from. Salt and they, sugar. They 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 they, they analyze sweat. And said, let's make a drink out of this. Well, if you're going to buy a bright blue bottle of stuff, that's not going to be great. It can't be good. <laughs> um, and that's why I think of it. Um, who was the number one maker of cordial? Coddy's? I reckon. And but what I was like the jingle? Best. My dad picks the fruit. Those two Coddy's. The makes the cordial that I like, I like best. best. You know why that jingle works? Why? Because of the pauses. Oh. My dad picks, picks the fruit. fruit. Pause. Do you want to hear my Mate, joke? Yeah. I used to go, my, I used to do this in stand-up. My dad picked the fruit because he left school in year nine. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't see him much. He's offered in Mildura. <laughs> but, yeah, he's picking the fruit. <laughs> I re- you know. I should bring that back. I reckon that would be good think music. Not, yes. not now. Yes. Later, because that. That got stuck in people's heads. Oh, it's a great jingle. Well, the little kids were marching through. They're marching the, through the fields. Marching through the fields. I'm gonna have some cordial right now. Uh, don't mm. slip it. Yeah, um. All right. So, gorillas. Gorilla Magilla. Gorilla. Gorilla. What are ninety eight percent? They have ninety eight percent DNA of humans. Right. Ninety eight. So. So, so the two percent they're missing is the talking bit. Yeah, and they're ripping the face off, as Jeff Stilson says. So oh, really? we are we are two percent away from ripping people's faces off, oh my God. and having a shit and then throwing it at people. <laughs> are they the most uh, advanced primate? Like having more- said that, I had a neighbour that used to <laughs> do that. <laughs> hey, are they the most? Adv- Stop it over the fence. Hey, Stop, Stop it. it. <laughs> are they the most advanced primate? Apart from, like, are they? Do they sit above orangutans and orangutans are pretty smart? Yeah, what about baboons? Oh, I didn't even think of that. And then you got your monkeys, you got your chimpanzees, you got your. There's a whole lot of them, aren't there? There's a whole family. It's like, you know, a whole lot of relatives. You know? Can you do a. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they got scared, they go. <laughs> it's like a kookaburra. We were talking about Planet of the Apes last night, actually. Have you seen those new Planet of the Apes movies? Uh, no. Oh, they're fantastic. Planet of the Apes. Oh. I didn't know that. Was, wasn't that a book at school? Planet of the Apes was a movie with Charlton Heston in it. Oh, I'm thinking of. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of all the, all the boys going to live on the island. That's different. Oh, yeah. Lord Kill of the, the pigs. Lord of the him, flies. Bash him in. That's Sorry. That's piggy. That's Lord of the flies. You know. Private, it's similar private, era. School, private school kids on, a, on an island. That's, not just, that's similar. It's similar era. Yeah. Um, yeah, go on. Well, yeah, uh, well, anyway, they're great movies. But there's gorillas in that, I think. Well, who's the woman who lived with the gorillas? All their faces are a bit rubber. You, you look at their face going, I, look, I know. Oh, yeah. that, is their face still rubber? No, they're much more advanced. They, they look like proper monkeys and gorillas. Get the fly. Yeah. Um, who was the woman who lived with the gorillas? Diane Fossey. Oh, you're good. That was Diane, amazing, that. Diane Fossey. And what happened to Diane Fossey? Uh, it- you got killed by a gorilla? Close. Killed by... Po- uh, well, they... Oh, poachers. She was murdered. That's right. And Is they- that the movie Gorillas in the Mist? Yes, starring... Who uh, is that? Oh. It's an alien, 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 alien. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sigourney Weaver. Oh, oh, yeah. And you know who else? No. Get gorillas. Up, mate. Get up, mate. Here you go. Brian Brown. Oh, Brian Brown's in Gorillas in the Mist. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right. Okay. No, uh, let's go with it. Yeah. Um, and that was the life of Diane Fossey, who, well, who she basically was protected, protecting the gorillas from poaching. Yes. What were they, why were they poaching them? What do they get out of them? Some they're, the they're getting, yeah, kind of desperate, I suppose. Or maybe that were they taking it to give it people gorillas to 
to you know to have in their home like Michael Jackson had a <laughs> bubbles 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 still alive what have you got you've got your you've got your eastern and your western i think and the ones that live in the mountains are the ones that are endangered i think from what really? I remember. yeah do they get along the eastern and the westerns or do they fight i don't know you know who hey maybe we can I hey, we'll I don't, think don't think gorillas eat hay. No. Are they, are they carnivores? Jane oh, Kennedy. Oh, she went to see the gorillas. Why yes. don't we call oh, we'll, we'll We'll talk about it for a we'll minute. We'll try and call her. You, um, but she you, went with one of her sons who was obsessed by gorillas, I think. What a wonderful thing to do. When she was doing radio, I remember talking to her briefly about it. How long is it? A few years ago now. Yeah, it would have been a few years ago now. Okay, well, we'll get, ring her in a minute. Because... So do you reckon when she walked and saw the first gorilla, she just went, wow, this is like working with Mick Malloy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Save that. Woo! I reckon she, she'd that. go for that. She'd like that. Uh, and, uh, and, she worked, and if she saw me, she'd go, look at that old silverback. Ah, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, they're very big on the families, aren't they? Are they? Oh, I've got to say, my knowledge of gorillas is not great. Not great. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm relying wrong. on you to inform me. Um well, uh, all, all, all I know is that they live in the mountain. They hang off trees. They eat bananas and they go. Woo, woo, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, but then I get them mixed up with. They know. are so strong. Oh, are they? I mean, seriously, they could pull your head off. Oh god! And they always look depressed in the zoo. They never look happy. I'm not a big zoo guy. Meaning, I don't understand what zoos are. Well, they no, the zoos. Toe the line that they're protecting the animals because they're they're in danger in the in the bush. That's the line. But all, uh, but surely, if you want to see that, my theory is if you want to see those animals, go and see where they where they in their well, natural environment. Not, yeah, but obviously put zoos, them in a cage. It's so sad. Yeah, well, zoos were created in a time when you couldn't travel easily, so they would bring so the maybe bit, animals to Europe and stuff. I still don't understand. I mean, it's not all about if they were if they had medical issues. I understand. Yeah, yeah. But if they if they're buying them and bringing them in, going, look, we have got two giraffes who don't get to run free anymore. Just get to stand there and, and eat, eat a tree. I know. That's sad. Too sad. Anyway, Too I'm sad. sure there are people, zoologists out there, yelling at the podcast, going, "You idiot! Don't you realise that this is what we're helping them? They're doing research." Research on the gorillas. Um, so what, the gorillas live in a... They seem to... Is that a whole extended family, is it? What, what's going on I think it's very family-orientated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that, that, you know... It's like tribes, I suppose. Yeah, like a tribe. Yeah. So, you know, it's the same sort of thing. So, um, I don't know what else... How, how long do they live? They probably live till about the same age, 40 years, 50 wow. years. Wow. And they're always, they, they're always, they always seem to be black, don't they? Blacky, browny gorillas. Is there, are there any different colours? They come in different colours? Well, I saw one once. You saw uh, a gorilla. I saw uh, it at the zoo. Uh, I'm trying to work out how to do this joke. Uh, yeah, I saw <laughs> I saw one once at, at, uh, at, at walking around um, at, at at Disneyland. No, no, oh, you no, saw no, a no, gorilla at Disneyland. Disneyland. You know what's that joke about? Is there a joke about dressing up as a gorilla? Yeah. Now there's a joke about dressing up as a cow. No. You know that joke where the guy no. the guys have been to a fancy dress dressed up as a cow and they're walking home they go through the field. Oh, and the bull runs up. Yeah. And what happens? Well, he goes, we'll put the outfit back on, and the bull looks really horny. I'll put, we'll put the outfit back on, and the guy goes, <laughs> the guy with the head on goes, I'll chew grass, you brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. Classic. Yeah. Remember, but, remember Gorilla Grams? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. 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 Where you dress yeah. up as a gorilla and then deliver yeah. a um, happy yeah. birthday to Glenn. Yeah, I'm, 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 that was quite a thing for a while. Yeah, it was in the seventies and the eighties. You'd be at a twenty-first, and a gorilla gram would turn up. Because I mean, a gorilla, if you go to a TV um, like the ABC, I'm sure gorilla outfit. They'd have a gorilla yeah. outfit. I mean, if I they said we're gonna have a gorilla walk, have you seen that thing where they do it on stage where they go, um, I want you to watch the bouncing ball on stage or whatever it is. How many people are dancing around on stage and what they do? A gorilla walks out in the background. But because you're so fixated on oh, wow. what's happening on stage, you don't see the gorilla. No. How many people saw the gorilla? And like 90% of people wouldn't have seen the gorilla. Wow. But if you open up your peripheral, you would see the gorilla. Oh, it's one of those shows, one of those science yeah, shows. Yeah, 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 right. Um, I don't know. Well, we, why don't we talk to Jane then? She, if she, if she's around. There's a lot of gaps in our knowledge. There are a lot of gaps in our knowledge. I reckon Jane would be fantastic. Have you got her number? Oh, I do have a number, actually. I've got a number as well. Only because I did radio with her for a long time. Did you? Well, no, I used to be a guest on Malloy Kennedy. 
Oh, as yeah, you were, yeah. as you she were was, too. Yeah, yeah, I was, she was too. She's great on the radio. Yeah, she was fantastic. She's it's a nice person. Such a wonderful nice person. history. Yeah. Um, and I don't right, know which which son it was, but I don't know. We'll, yeah, we, we'll find out. Yeah, no, you, you call it. No, you call her. <laughs> oh wow, it's ringing. Oh, you... Hello. Hey, Jane. Glenn Robbins, yes. Dave O'Neill, don't – I know it's creepy. It's weird. <laughs> well, two two old guys ring. It's a little bit creepy. Yeah, um, Not that creepy. Well, I mean, apparently really... people don't ring anymore. They text. That's what my kids tell me. Yeah, but it, oh. we have to explain to Jane what we're doing. Oh, you're going. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, Dave and I do a podcast together. And I, do, I know that. I and, like your podcast very much. Oh, that's good. Well, you're going to mm. be – well, if you don't mind, you're about to be on it. Crikey. And then I'm, you'll never work out why, though. Uh, no, unless it's something <laughs> from my past. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, because we, we ring people when they've got a certain expertise in areas. Like we rang Sam oh. Pang about Dim Sims, which was slightly <laughs> racist. It sounds uh. extremely racist and cliched, but um, does he like Dim Sims? He does. He, he loves does. them. Well, he knows yeah. the, he knows well the who people. doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? And would you like the South Melbourne Dim Sim? I love a South Melbourne oh. gin sim, but um, I love the steamed though. Oh, yeah, yeah same no, here. They yeah. do both. Yeah. And do you, would you eat it with a – Dave eats them out of the back. I reckon it's – do you think it's a knife and fork dish? Are you on drugs? Yeah. What? So I'm wrong. It's a – pick it with your fingers while it's hot out yeah. of the bag. Yeah. Oh, well, see, we have them at the golf club. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we have them at the golf <laughs> well, club. pardon you... me, your worship. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get steamed or fried, and I haven't yeah. um, uh, with. Not, I've got to say, don't knock until you've tried it. Seriously, oh, okay, yeah. But we're not ringing about dim sims. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're not. <laughs> we, we, we've been talking about gorillas and no, no, well, gorillas oh. and and cordial, cordial. and they're somehow related. And I, re- okay. and we both remembered on air that mm. um, you 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 you're Diane Fossey. Well, you're, I'm literally Diane Fossey. I am. You went there a couple of years ago with one of your sons. Was He was obsessed by gorillas, wasn't he? You love gorillas? Is that right? Yeah, well, see, here's, here's the thing. I think it was me who was obsessed with gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it conveniently turned into, but I think our son Max is so obsessed with gorillas, I should go. And and it was encouraged very much by Rob Sitch, who is um, the father of said child. Yes. <laughs> um, because he said, I have a feeling that it might not be as easy to do in future years. Mm-hmm. And annoyingly, he was correct because COVID has meant that they haven't been able to do these tours because it was so it is so dangerous for the gorillas to get COVID because they have struck the same oh, as us. Of course. Gorillas mm. get COVID. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And where'd you go? You, was Rwanda? it Uganda or Rwanda? It or was what? Uganda yeah, that right. we went. Um, and uh, we had the yellow fever vaccinations. And um, there was a lot of um, – the guy who organised the trip for us for the safari, there's a lot of warnings involved when mm. you go to Uganda as a woman and a young son. Um, there was many plane trips to get there. And, you know, and Tebby, as the capital and an airport in Uganda, has a bit of a checkered past. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, dear. There's a few dictatorships, you know. Idi Amin. Yeah, of course. Idi Amin and all that. But, uh, yeah, we, we did go there. And oh, it's the most incredible, memorable experience I've ever had in my life, I have oh. to say. Wow. And so, and so how up close do you get to the gorillas? Like... Well, literally less than a metre. Oh. And we're lying down. You can't, you've got to be silent. And um, the the one issue was, look, I'm not the fittest chick in the world. Oh, well, nor are we. Oh, Glenn is, but I'm not. I, I, I get, Glenn's yeah. fit. Yeah, Glenn's fit. Oh, Sorry, Dave. I, I, I'm going <laughs> to take him on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go swing in the trees for a while, guys. Come on. Was, so you had to hike to get there or? Yeah, like that was not cool. That was like, um, I think a round trip it was like a 19-kilometre hike. Oh. <laughs> I'm not fit and really, it really nearly did me in. But once you got there, you forgot all that pain. But you were lying down on the, like Diane Fossey, so close. Watching them, you could see the glistening fur of the gorilla. Like it looked like freshly shampooed, shiny hair Mm. on this massive male gorilla. It was extraordinary. How many were there, you reckon? 
There was, so they have quite a lot of it. Was It's called the Bewindi Impenetrable Forest, which is fairly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an upper mountain, yeah? Is it in a, in a like a big forest or are you yes, up against it? Forest. Were there titsy flies and noises like, yes, you know? Yes, the- it's, it's pissing down with rain and then it's hot and sunny. Rain, sun, it's like nonstop. You have to wear gardening gloves because you have to, they have these poor guys that, rangers that go with you um there's only four civilians me and max and another couple that went and you go with nine rangers with rifles because what? apparently there's wild elephants in the forest that will kill you <laughs> in the, in the oh, wow <laughs> so they're armed and um max thought that was pretty exciting i was a little nervous because it's a bit slippery that a rifle might go off Yes. But you go in and you have to have these gloves because they're literally slashing a path for you to go forward. Wow. And, um, yeah, you, you either get cut up and you've got to have all these – yeah, the equipment's pretty full on. What were the gorillas doing when you saw – what do they do? They – and uh, you asked how many. Like, so maybe there was a family of <laughs> – there was a family of about 14. Right. Um, babies, mothers, only one bloke because he's the ruler, you see. So Ooh. they're all chicks and babies, and there's only one gorilla. Sounds good. And then <laughs> it's very <laughs> well, misogynistic, <Robert>. actually. <laughs> uh, and did they say, go and lie in that bit there? Just lie there? And then, yes. And then do they leave you? or are They say they close... leave you. And what's um, the worst that could happen, though? Could they? Um, they could get agitated if you sort of stood up and wanted to sort of take a selfie with one, I guess. Could you take photos? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, right. We took heaps of photos, but, you know, on silent, your phone. Of course. And, um, but they're herbivores. Oh, I did ask Glenn that. Yeah, they're, so they're herbivores. Right. So were yeah, they, so they, they were eating bananas? Yeah. Vegetarians. Well, they, they eat... They just eat grass, a whole shit ton mm. of it, really. It's incredible to see how muscly it is. It's a real um, great sign, very positive for any vegans or vegetarians. <laughs> in the world. So how big are they? Would they? Are they bigger than a human? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, you know, I'm trying to think of an AFL footballer size. or, a, or a, Like they're Tony Lockett in his heyday size. Yeah, big. Yeah, right. You big. know, they're, mm. they're very, very nuggety and... So handsome. Oh, really? So handsome. Oh, absolutely. In fact, you know, if I was hard up, I, you know, Tarzan Jane, who knows? Oh, yeah, the right well, name. If you ever become single, I'd probably I'd... crack on. I'd crack on to a gorilla. I know a couple of guys that look a bit like that, so I can organise if anything <laughs> you know, it doesn't work out for hey, you. Hey, Jane, we were talking about poaching. Why do they get poached? What's it? A... Oh, it's terrible. It's just so horrible. They, um, because of it's such a there's such poverty in in the area, and you'd think that tourism and people wanting to go and see the gorillas would would help out, but no, they poach they they literally, I'm sorry to say, they cut off their hands and they turn them oh. into oh. Um, like ashtrays. Oh, um, oh. yeah, disgusting. it's it's absolutely. It's absolutely hideous. Um, is, it the the, yeah. is it for the meat? Is it for the meat or no? No, it's no. literally for the um, body parts to you know. There's there's a lot of nutty stuff that goes on with elephant tusks and yeah, and and it all gets down to virility and crazy things like that, which we try and fight against. That we say right. no, I don't think you'll become more virile if you have some shavings of elephant tusk in your beer mm. at night. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a bit like that, and they're worried the poaching's coming back because they haven't been able to have tourists going because of COVID. So yeah. it's a bit of a concern. Now, yeah. what's with cordial? And oh, there's gorillas? some connection with cordial and gorillas. Our helper Sam, she's found this, and it, it, we don't we don't know we don't know. But I mean, if we <laughs> if you want to have a crack, did anything happen over there? Make you anything come up on your radar? Nothing. Were they with, about cordial? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I seem to remember. Was there an advertising campaign oh. to do with a gorilla? Oh. And maybe that's it. Oh. Yeah, that could, I have that a feeling it's to do with that. How long did you spend with the gorilla? So did you get, did you go several times or just the once to look it's at them? It's just the one because it's such a schlep to get in there. Yeah. Um, we one. spent four hours with them, and uh, we had lunch while we were there in our backpacks. And but I was just such a baby by the end. I literally was begging the rangers to carry me up the hill. <laughs> 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 and my son was saying, Mom, 
this is embarrassing. How did how did your son enjoy it? Did he did he love oh, it? Oh, he was it was gobsmacked. I mean, it's yeah. not it's it's you know you you can't get that joy off YouTube. No, can you? no. <laughs> It's There's nothing better than seeing an animal in its natural environment. I know. Like I, seeing... I agree, Glennie. Yeah. And, and look, I'm a big – I've done so many safaris I'm into it, but not everyone's into it. I get that. But seeing a giraffe in the wild is pretty freaky, I have to say. They're yeah. incredible. As compared to a cage where you just feel for their daily plight. Of, of, oh, it's horrible. I have, I'm very torn between zoos and everything, but I do understand it's helpful – with research and, and yeah, that's things what like I was that. Saying. And they're getting yeah. so much better. They're yeah. much better than they yeah, used they to used be. Yeah, they used to be. Mm. Oh, yeah. well, that's awesome. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> would you, <laughs> would you right. go back? You wouldn't go back. Would you go back? I Well, if they could chop me in, uh, yeah. I'm a celebrity, get me out of this. <laughs> 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 then I'd consider. But I think it's a so special one-off. Yeah, it's a once-in-a-lifetime. Once in a lifetime. I tell you, I, I saw the chimpanzees and they're nasty bastards. So I'd stay away from them. Okay. They're They're... Carnivorous, and oh. they'll eat your face off. So they will stay away from them. Yeah. Wow. Do they fight the gorillas? Do they fight amongst the primates, or the gorillas only fight to the death for oh. the males to take over the pack? So it's you know a circle of life. Dave. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Was there a warning word or something? Did they have a word that you know like a safety a word, safe um, word? Yeah. Yeah. It was fuck run. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny. Uh, oh, thanks, well, Jane. Thanks, Jane. You're uh, welcome. Anytime you need some um, animal, uh, you know, you can have your Chris, Dr. Chris Brown, but um, I'm yeah. the next person. And thing. if I go out somewhere to a nice restaurant and you're sitting down at a table with a gorilla looking bloke, I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm, I'm go. <laughs> it was always on the cards. You heard it You first. never know. You never I, know. I like her suit, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Great Jane. We'll, um, see you soon. Okay. Bye. Wow, she's really brave. She, yeah, that's to I walk mean, in that far. Oh God! To do that to I mean, what, should we a meter away? Yeah, not far at all. And like you know, like she was saying, just being in that part of the world, it's dangerous enough. So you got eight guys with rifles standing around. Well, there were nine of them, and she had lunch. I wonder what she had for lunch. Yeah, I know. That's you wouldn't want to pull out a banana. No. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey kids! Hey, hey! Look at they got a banana over there. Throw your buddy wrapping them. Hey, you're Jane Kennedy off the TV. <laughs> um, All right, so so let's uh, have some thinking music. Yeah, now we have thinking music because okay. we will decide what is the connection between. Okay, let's, so let's hear the, we, the, we the ad. It, yeah, at, and and listen for my dad, dad picks, picks the, the fruit. fruit. Pause. The what makes the cordial. Pause. That, that I, I like best. best. It's the pause that gets you in. Have a yeah, listen. That's great. My dad picks the fruit that goes through the bodies to make the cordial that I like best. Deserve Cotties Cordials. Cotties with a great taste of 25% fruit juice. Oh, there yeah. you go. Was wow. I right or was I right? You were right. I was Again. Right. The pause is undervalued. Pauses are good, man. Pauses. I mean, Richie Benno was great at the pause. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Top shot that. Yes. <laughs> um, because you, it, when bad things happen and you just have clear air, you, the gravity mm. um, and, the, and the pause in the song, are there any. Famous songs with big pauses in them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah let me think about that. There are, yeah, there's some where you're thinking, is that coming back? Like you know, and it, and, and, and then it stops. It, yeah, and then it starts again. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Anyway, enough for me. Um, you want to have a crack? Oh no, uh, cordial. I think cordial. No, cordial in gorillas. No, you go. Okay. All I'm. I, this is really hard. I reckon the only thing. That Diane Fossey, the only. <laughs> okay, this could be true. That she took some cordial in there and the gorillas liked it. And she realized when the gorillas had the cordial, they were more um, jovial. So more jovial? Well, they were more friendly after a bit of a cordial, as we all are after a nice glass of icy cold cordial. 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 Or what was your 50 50, as you called it? 50 50. <laughs> um, what are you going to say? I'm going to say I reckon they've worked out that cordial It's not made from gorillas. Don't say that. No, not made from gorillas. Is the one drink that I don't know that, that gorillas like. That's what I said. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't listening. Um, I was trying to think of my own answer. Oh, Sam, what is the answer? The gorillas at London Zoo are given cordial and cool fruit tea to drink. Kumbuka, a western lol and silverback, made an opportunistic exit through unlocked doors. London Zoo added, the zoo said the gorilla got into a secure keeper's area on discovery of the security floor. He escaped after drinking 5L of blackcurrant cordial. Oh, it's a sugar hit, isn't it? Is that what's happening? I love Kumbuka, what his name was. He <laughs> had five litres. Five litres. Ah, right, and, and this is it. He, Yeah, well, well, they're like kids, like we say, with the red cordial, you know. Well, he was all fired up. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. He's, um, what did they say in the movie? He drank the Kool-Aid? He drank the Kool-Aid. What's Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid's like cordial. It's powdered cordial. And meaning meaning that you've been to the other side and you've tasted the good stuff? Is that what no, it means? No, no. no. It's, it from, it's from Jim Jones' massacre. Oh, is it? Yeah, so you know Jim Jones was a cult leader and he yep. set up in the South Af- American jungle because he's getting too heat and much heat in America. Oh, I like this, And yeah. then he gave, well, it's got a bad ending, oh. and then he gave um, Kool-Aid to his cult followers and it was all poison he poisoned it and killed them all like, so what does it mean then when you've drank the kool-aid means you've you've taken in the cult beliefs oh meaning you're one of them yeah you're no one longer of one of us yeah, you're yeah. one of them so if you turn up and you start going on hey dave you know what you really got to get into you got to get into um you know uh, harry krishna's because i have done a course in harry krishna really, you know or buddhism or something like that and people just go oh, he's drank the kool-aid hasn't he He's drinking so, Kool Aid. So you've, 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 you've taken it all the. You've, you know, when, when people start, anyone who's done any of those courses or has joined a cult religion and they start. I don't want to mention They've it drunk again, the but like anti vaxxers, they, 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 they drank the Kool Aid. Yeah, okay. And, but in fact, what Jim Jones fed to his followers wasn't Kool Aid. It, was so, it was a cheap knockoff called Flavor Aid. And, and what did it, it was it a do generic to them? brand. What did it do to them? No, he mixed it with poison and it killed them. But that's not. I don't understand. Drinking the Kool Aid's bad. Drinking the Kool Aid's bad, but see, they but would do. Kool- yeah, they would do. It means people would do anything to follow their leader's beliefs. That's what it means. Oh, okay. so he's going, "Hey guys, we're all going to gather around, going to drink some Kool Aid." Right. And he was like, "Oh, oh, if he says so, yeah, that's the right thing to do." When a few people just went, "I reckon, what do you reckon's going on here? Do you reckon he's poisoning us, or, or you know what I mean?" Like, so he's listening to this podcast, drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah, if you're drinking the Kool Aid, well, you know, yeah, he's drinking the Kool Aid because. There, I don't know whether people realise this, but we have a track that runs underneath this oh, yeah. that hypnotises yeah. you. <laughs> it makes you give money. It makes you sign up yeah. on, on Facebook and give out your give credit money. card. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't worry. It, it's okay. It's only a dollar a week. It's, a, a dollar it's, cheap. it's only 50 bucks a year. And, and you know. It's um, cheap. So if you are inclined, you're feeling like you need to give money to some Harold Lager yeah. Foundation. It's a foundation. It's for charity. Yeah, um, for drink, us. That, drink that Kool Aid. Drink the Kool Aid, and um, and we can go and have our trip. Yeah, <laughs> where the, are we going? To, oh, see, to the the see the gorillas, of course. See the gorillas. It's gonna be hard for me to break that to the family. So but if anyway. you if we you went on that trip, which you can mm. now, can you go again now? No, but surely soon you can. And you had some cordial with you. Mm. I reckon they'd smell it. Yeah. Did you hear what happened to Dave and Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> Dave thought it would be funny <laughs> to bring his cool, in, and he brought it in like a school bottle. <laughs> and what happened? Pulled his head off. Yeah, the gorilla. And Glenn got got his leg pulled off. <laughs> and uh, now they now Dave, they're one human. Yeah, yeah, Dave's just yeah, Dave's just a a body a blob. It. Yeah, and Glenn <laughs> yeah. does does Uncle Arthur with no legs, which is not, not coming down. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs>